What's going on everybody? Hope you are having a great one today. We're taking a look at a figure from Black Box Toys. Uh, now if you aren't familiar with them, um, join the club. I didn't really know anything about the company at all. Uh, they do have a Rocketeer co uh, figure coming out, which kind of caught my eye. Uh, so I immediately pulled the pre-order trigger on that bad boy. Um, and then while looking into the company, I stumbled across this. So we're going to go ahead and get cracking on it. Uh, it is Joy from Blade Runner 2049, uh, one of my favorite characters from the movie, uh, also played by Anna de Armas, who's one of my uh, favorite more recent actresses in Scream Queens. If you haven't seen Knock Knock with her and Keanu Reeves, uh, definitely check that one out. It's got also got Lorenzo Iso in it, so yum yum. Um, you really can't go wrong with that trio of power there. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this thing busted out of its shell. Uh, now, as you can see, the box itself is not black, which is kind of surprising, given the name of the company. Uh, it also has a gold box logo on it. Again, not black, which is kind of shocking. Uh, and it's got the product number right there. Um, now, if you er were interested in getting Rocketeer or just interested in knowing Rocketeer, is going to be 9023. Um, so it's a little bit after this one, not too further along, which is always a good thing. Um, this is kind of my trial figure. I just sort of wanted to get one to see what the company was all about. Um, and it, it looked like a winner for the most part. Uh, now, this is the 2.0 version, the original one. Uh, was just a head sculpt and a uh, outfit. Um, so this one actually do does give you the full uh, figure here. Now I will say, you can probably notice this piece of plastic right here. I did open her up earlier. She had plastic wrapped around her legs, so I went ahead and ripped that up. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that she was the, uh, the figure that I had ordered. Uh, since there wasn't any decoration on the box itself, I was kind of concerned that something crazy would happen and I'd open it and it would be like uh, something I didn't want. Um, so let's go ahead, we'll get her out of here. Um, now there are a couple interesting things that I can say right off the bat, um, but we'll get into those uh, as we go through her here. Um, now I'm not entirely sure why I didn't take the plastic off her head. Um, like I said, I did remove it from her legs, uh, but there we go. Get rid of that so she can breathe. Um, she should hopefully stand up pretty easily. Fingers crossed. Maybe we'll just uh, balance. You can do it. Maybe she can't. All right, so a little work. She's standing. That's the important part. Uh, also in the box, you do get an extra hand sculpt, which we will hopefully pop right out. Blam, it's nothing special, it's basically just a generic uh, Fison hand. Uh, and then you get the gun, which will take an up close look while I pop it out of here. If I can pop it out of here, success. All right, so we'll take a quick look at this and then we'll go into the figure clothing and both of the head sculpts. Uh, the gun, if I can zoom in, is actually pretty cool. Uh, they did a good paint job on it for the most part, um, really no complaints there. Uh, a lot of good detailing on it. They do have a little red uh, red safety button there, which I find fun. Um, really just overall a pretty solid paint job. Uh, it is plastic. Um, would have been cool if it was you know metal or something like that, but not a big deal by any means. Uh, no moving components, which doesn't really need them. Um, not too big of a deal. Uh, and it does look like it'll pretty easily fit into this hand. Fingers crossed. Maybe. Little wiggle in, hopefully. There we go. Interestingly, she's not going to be able to get her finger on the trigger, uh, but close enough, right? She's uh, using proper, proper gun holding skills, sort of. <laughs> All right, on to the figure itself. Um, I'm going to start off looking at the head sculpt, then there is one glaring flaw that I see with the figure right off the bat, that if you've seen pictures of her, you can tell uh, probably from looking at this. I didn't really mean to have that camera view there. Um, I guess that was a subtle uh, or not so subtle hint. Um, her hair is going to need a little playing with. I'll probably have to grab a safety pin or a toothpick and just kind of fluff that up a little bit. Um, but honestly, for the head sculpt, pretty good job. Uh, I really don't hate this one at all. Um, like I said, other than the hair needing a little bit of work. Um, but again, that's something that 
and fluff up in a little bit. And like I said, I can just kind of play with it and tease it out a little bit. So that's not too big of a problem there at all. Um, they did a good job of capturing our likeness for the most part. Um, honestly, I'm more excited about the, uh, the blue haired one, um, which we will take a look at shortly. Uh, but really, all things considered, not terrible. Like I said, it does look pretty bad just because the way the hair is. Um, but again, I think, uh, play with that for a good, you know, 15, 20 minutes and probably get it looking okay. Um, so that's not bad there at all. Now on to the, uh, the immediate issue that I noticed. Um, she's actually got a black shirt, uh, on the figure. I'm not sure why they have the white one there. Um, it might be like a full unitard. I'm not entirely positive. Uh, they do include her leggings and the black turtleneck separately. Um, so I'll go ahead and plop that on. Uh, but did seem like a strange choice. I don't know why they didn't just have at least the shirt on. Um, leggings I can somewhat understand, I guess, uh, but definitely seemed a little weird. Um, now this plastic coat here is garbage. I'm just going to say it right off the bat. Um, the material feels basically the same as like the plastic that would be um, on top of like a DVD or a video game cover. Um, so like if you can imagine, you know, holding a DVD case, open it up, that really thin plastic layer on top, that's pretty much what this is. Um, so I'm genuinely not too thrilled about that. Um, also color-wise, it looked more like a radioactive kind of lime greenish, uh, in the actual photos. Um, this is definitely more of just kind of a, a base yellow. Not the end of the world, I'm not terribly upset by that. Um, I'm more not pleased with the, uh, uh the quality of it. Um, That being said, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I'll, I'll give it credit for there. I'm going to cover her up a bit because it's clearly cold in my basement. Um, just a bit of a letdown in that regard. Now, it is a standard bison body, so it's going to be seamless throughout. And you get the nice solid knee joints, which, of course, is awesome. Uh, the skirt feels like genuine and might, might be pleather, but it actually feels like leather. Um, to be honest, I, I'm not positive, uh, but... Good work on it. Good design. Um, I'd say they did pretty good on that. Does have a Velcro opening. And if you heard that, that was one of her shoes falling off, which I will take a look at in just a moment. Because um, that was kind of one of my other sort of issues with uh, this figure. I actually can't tell if that's Velcro. Yeah, it is. All right. Now, as I mentioned, the shoe just fell off. Um, she doesn't actually have feet which I found very strange. <laughs> She's got the foot pegs in there, but there's no actual foot that I can tell in the shoe. I might be wrong about that. Um, I've tried looking down there. Um, I'm pretty sure they just pop right into a joint at the bottom of the boot. Again, I could be wrong on that. Um, wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Uh, but I thought that was just kind of interesting. Um, not the end of the world by any means. She doesn't really need feet, as weird as that is. Um, the boots themselves do have a really cool look to them. They give them these neat kind of clear plasticky straps, which just kind of adds to the, the neat cyberpunk look of her. Um, I honestly don't remember if she had these in the movie. It's been a little while since I've watched it, and I don't pay a ton of attention to footwear. Uh, but I do think these look pretty rad. Um, they're laced up, which is cool. And then the plastic straps with the little metal buckles... Mm, I dig them. Um, now, as I said, she does have leggings, which will end up needing to be put on. Uh, so I'll play around with that a little bit later. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to hope that she stands up A-OK, -okay, maybe. Good enough. And I want to take a look at this, um, which is the blue hair sculpt. This is actually the one that I really liked about the figure and kind of the reason that I pulled the trigger. Because um, I just think they knocked this out of the park, especially with the eyes. Um, I'm fiddling with her hair a little bit now because it is kind of messy. Um, again, hair on this one I'll kind of have to play with a little bit too, but probably not as much. But there you have her in all of her glory. Um, this is when she's like the giant hologram looking down on Agent K and talking to him. I just think it looks so darn cool, especially with the blacked out eyes. Um, honestly, I think... They captured her likeness a lot better in this, which is weird. Uh, I, I find it kind of strange to think that, but uh, overall, 
Um, this head sculpt, outstanding. Um, this one gives me so much hope for the Rocketeer figure, just because overall I, I really, really am blown away by this. I'm getting a little too, a little too close. Give her a kiss. There you go. Um, she is just absolutely gorgeous. They they knocked it out of the park with this head sculpt. So I am very, very excited about that. It gives me a ton of hope for the figure, um, for the Rocketeer figure down the line. Um, and honestly, it makes me like this figure a lot more. Uh, now, as for cost of this girl, uh, she actually was about 160 bucks, which um, and not bad, not great. Um, if you think about it like this, a Fison body is going to be about 60 to 70 bucks, so you know that's almost half of the price there. So you're really spending about 90 bucks on two head sculpts, the outfit, and the gun. Um, I don't think that's terrible by any means. Figure a normal head sculpt and outfit set's going to be around 70 80 bucks uh, at minimum, um, and you're not going to get something that's that dang cool. Uh, so to me, I think it's a pretty good value in that regard, especially if you like the character and the figure itself. Um, so I, I really overall can't complain uh, one bit in that aspect. She'll look pretty good on a shelf. Um, got plenty of other cyberpunk stuff coming along the line, so I can mix her in with that. I might eventually get a Deckard or an Agent K, but uh, for now, it's a good one to have to rock the Blade Runner world. Um, and if you are interested in checking out either her or the Racketeer figure, um, you can get, uh, I think you could still get Rocketeer from 1-6 Outfitters, uh, you can get them both from Giant Toy, um, Rocketeer you might want to try and pre-order quickly because he's selling out in a lot of places, so just be kind of mindful of that. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching.